federal government has announced the shutdown of Lagos, Ogun State and the Federal Capital Territory as part of moves to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry has said that micro, small and medium enterprises in Lagos have recorded losses of about 2.7 billion naira due to the recent COVID-19 lockdown. The pandemic caught the world by surprise in 2020. People lost their jobs, lockdowns were instilled, businesses got wound down due to the fact that they couldn't survive, and unemployment rates skyrocketed severally across nations. I lost my job. I used to work for an oil servicing firm, and it really hit the industry so hard, and I mean, I lost. Everybody was asked to stay at home because of COVID. And I was working with the brand then, and of course we were asked to stay back at home, pending when the government would ask us to resume. And when the government asked us to resume, I was expecting a call back. I didn't get a call back. I wasn't expecting a associate to tell me I've lost my job. I was working as a customer service representative. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, I lost my job. It was so devastating because I really needed the salary I was getting at that time. I was feeling, oh, what next would I do and stuff like that. Yeah, I was working as a freelance surveyor. My job entails that I needed to be present on site physically. Now, when COVID-19 struck and the government declared lockdown, I was ineffective and we don't know why, because I could not go to site. that tech for was trying to solve when it initiated digital skills for the workplace was to give people an opportunity and an opportunity to gain in-demand skills based off of the fact that the pandemic had taken over, people had lost their jobs and a lot of people were just at home due to unemployment. So GIZ had contributed significantly towards the program. Mrs. Elizabeth Adekunle, who was then the coordinator of Office of Jobs, Migration and Reintegration, whom we had then jointly spoken about coming up with an intermediate level program that allows people to then gain access to these in-demand skills that then allows them to be able to get jobs. Tech for Dev had been a long-standing partner for the German Development Corporation, the GIZ team. And so subsequently when COVID hit, and they had to go through some form of pandemic resilience program. It was essential and, you know, it was important for us to come up with something. Um, and then we came up with the Digital Skill for Workplace initiative that they subsequently approved and funded. The Digital Skills for the Workplace was an eight-week training. The program, we had five learning tracks, cybersecurity, cloud service management, software development, UI UX design and product management. At the end of the eight weeks training program, we had participants distributed across different tech enabled organizations for their internships. In my search for new opportunities online, I came across a video by Microsoft. In the video was my classmate, Fatima Ahmed, who is now into tech. I made an inquiry on how she got into tech and she shared some of the Tech for Dev programs with me and she sent the link for the DSFW program. And then I registered and I was selected. What is going technological? and I felt to remain re relevant, I needed to upskill myself with an in-demand skill. What motivated me to continue with this program was the fact that I wanted more, you know, in life. I felt there was more to what I could achieve, to more I could have done, and coupled with the fact that I was affected by the COVID experience as well, so I decided to give it a try. At the beginning of the Digital Skills for Workplace program, I was a little nervous because I wasn't familiar with most of the tools that I encountered, such as HTML, CSS, and the likes. I was only good with Microsoft Word, Excel, and other Microsoft packages. But I had a very good facilitator, Emmanuel, who made us understand that we would be able to do stuff if only we put our minds to it. After the DSFW training, I got an internship position with Prunet Technology in Lagos. 
as part of the program's requirements. It was a fantastic experience for me. Why? Because I learned more about the cybersecurity career. It's getting a full-time employment immediately after my six-month internship. After the eight weeks training at Tech for Dev, I had to go for a three-month internship program with Edubridge Consulting in Ikeja. And it was in that process I got my first job with Sessions in Pennsylvania, USA. Being a part of the DSFW training was awesome. I was basically trained, fed, and paid to be a better version of myself. So working as a software developer has really improved my financial status compared to when I wasn't working. I have a good job that pays the bills while I also support my family. The skills I can add from the training helped me maximize my procurement skills in the sense that um, it made me understand more what data and how the market should be researched. The whole learning experience with DSFW has taught me that impossibility only exists in the mind. I went from being just a fashion designer to acquiring an extra skill that has given me the opportunity to increase my income as well as collaborate with people across the globe to provide solutions on a global scale. As Africa's population is growing, you're having younger people, 60% of our population unemployed, underemployed, all falling within the age range of 16 to 24 years. Our commitment is to get at least 10 million of those people out of poverty and get them into jobs, technology jobs, across the continent. That's our clear commitment. Tech for Dev's commitment towards empowering young Africans or Africans as a whole through programs such as Digital Skills for the Workplace is providing people opportunities. And opportunities in this context is being able to change their lives through opportunities to decent work. And opportunities through decent work will mean them being able to get access to jobs, internship placements that allows them to be able to 2x, 3x the income that it is that they were previously receiving. This allows them to be able to fend for themselves and also fend for their families. Financial freedom and ultimately economic independence for these beneficiaries as a well. whole.